I want to make another video to talk about the gears and the clicks and how they actually work. There's different types. As you can see, this one has a click right here and there's a wire, uh, a spring behind this click to push it down. But this gear is a, is a solid piece. And then this bushing pushes onto this gear, which pushes onto this tooth gear to push it up against. And that is how it operates. In this type of system, you have a click with the wire that's attached to make sure that click catches every tooth. Again, you have this bushing which pushes up against this piece that the chain fits on which pushes up against the gear itself to make it operate. In this system, you have a wire or a spring that comes over and catches the click which pushes down to catch into the teeth. This gear right here is pushed down onto that and actually if I was to take this apart and stand by and I'll do that. Now this one's going to be harder to take apart than what I thought because this piece right here is so it bits into the gear itself and to the rod assembly and then you tighten down that screw this setup here is all smushed down so i'd probably tear up this gear in order to take that apart this assembly here is the, the most um used assembly you have two different pieces of metal that push down to ratchet it and a lot of times this little tab right here is broken and you could still use this assembly and all you have to do is put a screwdriver underneath it and then take another screwdriver and push it down so the what's rest of the piece of metal will act as your uh, stop for the click. And the way you take this assembly apart is you take this pressed on fitting off, which has a three prong spring, uh, a compression spring. And if this is too far apart, then your gears are not catching and so that is why you you would push this fitting down and if you push this fitting down too much you're going to have a hard time ratcheting it so it only needs to be pushed down so far that way it ratchets Here you have the same setup, except for it's on a, a longer um, pen. And again, you have these tabs that are pressed down to catch the, 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 the teeth. As you can see, it catches the teeth. And again, a lot of times, I'm going to just go ahead and do it. A lot of times these things are pressed up too much and they don't catch the teeth. You got two sets. You got this set over here and you got this set over here. And as you can see, this set is catching, but this set isn't. And again, all you have to do is push this set back down by taking a screwdriver, put in as far in as you can to the right and then taking another screwdriver and pushing it down to 
trying to do this on camera. Or if you have a small pair of pliers that will grab it, you can grab it and give it a twist and now it catches. But if the metal is up too far in the air, that could cause you a problem also. So anyway, there are different types of gears, but they all work basically the same. Um, this one I got uh, marked, it's got a bent pen on it. As you can see, this, this pen is bent. So I took one out of a another clock to fix the clock that this came out of. But they all work basically the same. This piece that the chain fits on is just one unit. And let me take it all the way apart so you can see what I'm talking about. Typically, I would use be using a, a, a pry bar to get this off so I don't bend it like I'm doing here. But this is one unit, the part that the chain fits on. Then this part is what gives you the ratchet. And the part that the chain fits on, if I can get this all the way off, Is, is what that has the teeth in it that the click fits into. So, again, it don't matter what. There is one out there, an older one, that I had to buy a new gear for. And, Carl, that might be your system. Uh, it's a DRGM, and uh, it is a funky system, but they pretty well all work uh, the same way. You got this part here, which has your click on it, whether it's this type of click or whether it's this type of click where it's got the uh, uh, the click itself that is typically riveted to the gear plate. And then it has a spring that fits and pushes onto the click. But they're basically, for the most part, all the same. Click and gear. The actual um, uh, teeth set up that the click catches in with the chain driven. Then some type of spring that holds it into place for friction. And sometimes you have to bend these to make it tighter. And then what holds it all into place, this friction type of washer. See, there I got it. It's, it, it's, it's fine. Uh, other than the part that I bent, which I could straighten out with the pliers. I hope this helps. Please hit the subscribe button, and God bless.